the big A graders, he gets a chance here. This is his best possible chance to be able to knock off the likes of Think About It and also Espiona at Wait For Age. I mean, that's the task for him. I think he gets a chance from that inside barrier to be really, really competitive. Cole Crusher, blinkers going on. Uh, he's the roughy in the race. He's way over the odds. He's run in the Liverpool um, City Cup was good. Lizzie? Yeah, uh, look, I'm, I just think that they're better sprinters. I think Pericles is, you know, he's a terrific horse, but I think that he's much better suited over a bit further. And I think he will run really well, but I'm, I'm really keen on the top two in the market. Think about it in Espiona. There's, uh, there's literally nothing between them, and I'm the biggest Think About It fan. They both paraded well. Espiona's had that run under her belt, but by gum, Think About It can sprint well fresh, and his trials have been excellent. He ran third at his first start, Think About It. He then won nine in a row, including the Kingsford Smith, the Stradbroke, the Premier and the Everest, and then he ran third. He's never been beaten at Randwick. He's four for four. So there's a bit resting here. And I think for the carnival itself, it's important that he wins today. Could you imagine if he won this and, say, the rider and goes into a Doncaster? He's going to have a big weight. It's going to be the focus of so much attention. So I'm going to put on my promoter's hat and say I'd love this horse to win today. He is a special horse. Can he come back and be even better and stronger? The distance is going to stretch out. Here's the group one. It's the Canterbury Stakes. The showdown is underway. Stand by. There's the light for the group one Canterbury Stakes. Ready to run. Racing. Espiano with flopped out of the gates last. Malkovich began very fast, as did Cole Crusher on the outside. Malkovich leads a half to Cole Crusher. Bandersnatch goes to third from Pericles. Lady Laguna, think about it. Espiona down on the fence last of all. Malkovich at a controlled speed at the 1,000. Only a half length in front of Cole Crusher, who's getting closer on the outside. Three off to Bandersnatch on the outside of Pericles. Then came Lady Laguna. And the two favourites back last. Espiona on the inside, think about it. So it's Malkovich just in front of Cole Crusher. Only a head between them at the 700. Still two or three lengths away to uh, Bandersnatch. Snatch and now think about it. Clipperton puts him into the race. Think about it goes to a clear third. Espiona still sits back last. Malkovich leads around the turn. Cole Crusher revved up. Think about it third. Followed by Pericles. Lady Laguna getting to the outside. Now Espiona. She's three behind. Think about it. At the 300. Malkovich trying to cling on. It's Malkovich from Cole Crusher. Think about it. Lady Laguna and Espiona with the last shot of them. Lady Laguna hits the lead. Lady Laguna got a length in front of Think About It and Espiona and Lady Laguna causes an upset in the Canterbury Stakes. Lady Laguna by a length and a half. Photo second, think about it, and Espiona. Pericles fourth in front of Cole Crusher, then Bandersnatch and Malkovich. What a training triumph for Annabelle Nisham, who I think's had a, a little bit of a quiet run, to be truthful. I mean, what a star she is. Tyler Schiller gets a second group one. I mean, we're all a little bit surprised. She was well back today. She didn't have to go forward, as it turned out. She was the one that was in front of the big two. Then Sam Clipperton made the long run. I thought he hung on really well. But I would have been backing Espiona with 2.50 to go. I thought she would steam right over the I top I couldn't of agree with you more, Bruce. Well summed up. I mean, there's a lot to dissect from the race. But let's focus on the winner because she's an absolute iron mare. What an absolutely unbelievable run from her. We've seen her go forward. When we were talking during the run, I thought she would be a lot more positive. But I suppose when you have horses like Cole Crusher and Malkovich who were taking it up, it would have been really hard for her to absorb that pressure. So they rode her quietly on a hot speed. And the turn of foot that she possessed, she's beaten two group one before.